My name is Kara. I work for Grateful Farm. I've worked for Grateful Farm for more than 15 years. So after the season is over at the end of October, uh, what, is, what happens in the wintertime with your farm? I mean, do you have a way, do your people have a way of making money or do you put vegetables by or anything like that? In the winter months, um, the farmer is actually a mechanic, so primarily what he does is work on farm vehicles and to repair them and maintain them so that we're able to get into the fields throughout the spring and summer season with the equipment in good working order. And we do not do any uh, canning or freezing because we would need to have a commercial kitchen to do that in to be able to sell those products to the public if we weren't just doing that for ourselves. Oh, what about the shirt? Uh, sure. Uh, I have seven different jobs. I work for a catering company and we did an event where the theme of the party was called the White Party. All the guests wore white. So it's just a oh, wow. shirt. Uh, and now all this meat you farm at this farm? Yep, everything is grown right on our 160 acre farm in Hardwick, Massachusetts. So you're keeping cattle and chickens and... Yep, we have cattle, we have pork, we have, which is, you know, pigs and chicken and lamb. We also have a few goats. Oh, wow, alright. Now farmer's market's over in a couple of weeks. What happens then? Well, we are first and foremost a CSA, which is Community Supported Agriculture, and that's the model of farming where you buy into the farm and become a member. In exchange for a membership, you get 10 pounds of meat per month, and that's how we have, um, that's how we distribute our meat all year round. Even when it's not farmer's market? Even when it's not farmer's market season. However, for this year, it was the very first time we'll be at a winter's farmer's market in Natick that starts in January, January 9th. So for this winter, this will be the first time we have availability to reach customers that can't be in our CSA farm um, through the farmer's market. So we're really excited about that. And what's the difference between your meat and the meat that people could buy in the average supermarket? Well, hopefully a lot of things, but one thing that's different is that we really have um, an attestment to land management, for one, and then the animal's health and happiness. So everything is pasture raised on our 160 acres and we don't use any hormones, antibiotics, or pesticides or fungicides on our pasture. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Where does your fish actually come from? I'm assuming you're not growing it on a farm of some kind, right? The fish comes from Globe Fish Company, which is located on Northern Ave in Boston. They're a wholesale um, distributor. They don't have a retail store. We go to about a dozen farmers markets. Now, what's the difference between your fish and the fish you'd buy in the supermarket? Well, ours was just cut this morning, so, so it's extremely fresh. Okay, but it's the same ocean. <laughs> yes, oh yes. Uh, now, what do you do when farmer's markets are over? I mean, I assume you don't starve during the winter. What happens? No, we go to um, Crush Grapes on 411 Waltham Street in Lexington. We're there on Fridays from 1 to 5. Where, what's the name of it again? Crushed Grapes. And where is it? 411 Waltham Street. Lexington. Oh, I see. And that's your wintertime home in a sense. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You too? Um, I'll have a, a small cup of the marinade. The Mediterranean with yes, the garlic please. and oregano? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when farmer's market's over in the end of October, where do you go with the cheese? Uh, by the end of October, our goats, which we operate seasonally, we run them seasonally, um, we're coming down to milk production, so we don't have a high milk cheese volume at that time. Uh, we do, actually we have some farmers markets that run into November, right before Thanksgiving. Um, but your cheese isn't aged? It's, no, it's a fresh goat cheese. So we're selling, our cheese is um, like a three day process from milk to cheese. Uh, we, so we do have wholesale accounts. At the end of the farmers markets, we still have um, wholesale accounts, stores and restaurants that, that buy our cheese. During the winter. During, yeah, and, but we only pretty much make cheese until December, and then the goats dry off and they rest for two months, give birth in February, and we start all over again. Oh, wow. So. This is the Warren Farm and Sugar House. And we are a farm and a maple producer in central Massachusetts in North Brookfield. And everything here you... Everything here we make on our farm, plus we grow many of the ingredients on our farm, and that's kind of what we stand for. We take maple in as our first crop every year, and since we don't eat breakfast, we were hard pressed to figure out what to do with it, and we developed a line of products 
where maple is one of the ingredients. We have marinades, jams with maple in it, we have finishing sauces, we have spice rubs with maple in it, um, traditional maple products, of course. And what do you do when farmer's market's over? You don't we have this booth then. We continue to do this. We ship through our website. We have wholesale accounts that we have to support all year long. And about the only downtime we have is in January. By the middle of February, we're out in the woods putting our taps back in again and starting the cycle over. So it's a full, rounded sort of agricultural venture. And rather than bringing fresh product to the market, we bring preserved foods. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Well, everything you have here in your booth, you grow at your own farm? We do, we do. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do in the wintertime after the farmer's market's over in about a month? What happens? Well, we have to, uh, we have to put all the, all the fields to sleep. We have to uh, cut all the corn down. We have to uh, put winter rye in. And uh, then we'll have to pick up all the drops on the, on the, uh, on the ground of the apple trees. And uh, then we've got to cut some fireplace wood. <laughs> Do you have any for income? Do you sell anything in the winter? Or? No, after the markets are over, usually what we have left over, we give a lot to food banks. And then in the winter, we, we, we plow snow. We have about 100 driveways we do. And uh, we have a lot of projects going on. We're, gonna, we're putting up a post and bean barn. And uh, I like to ski. If I do, get, if do, you, I get the time. do you do any canning or freezing or putting food by at all? You know, we used to, but we don't have time anymore. My mother's older now, you know, so we just don't have the opportunity to. And actually, a lot of people give us stuff. A lot of people, even from the market, they'll do some uh, peaches and preserves, and they'll just give us a jar or two. Oh. So that works out pretty good, too, you know? Wow. So it's not like we're not, not enjoying any of the preserves that are put on. Are we all set here? Yes. Is this your coin? No, that's the last three years of corn, remember? Oh, oh okay, okay. The last three years. Six dollars and fifty Six dollars and fifty cents. I'm from Kimball Fruit Farm in Pepperell, Massachusetts. Oh. And half in Hollis, New Hampshire. The state line runs right through our farm. Oh wow. <laughs> And everything you have at your booth comes from your own acreage? Everything we sell, we grow. That's correct. We um, farm um, about 150 acres. Hello. I always say from arugula to zebra tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when farmer's market's going on until the end of October, then what happens? Uh, I do three farmer's markets until Thanksgiving. So I move on from here to Davis Square, Harvard Square. They go till Thanksgiving and then I substitute teach. And I have three teenagers at home, so you stay that, busy. I stay very busy. So what do you do for income in the winter time? You just I substitute teach. And that's it. That's oh, okay. it. Take a, I take long naps. <laughs> <laughs> and you get ready for the next season. That's correct. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.